This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. When the mind is split, the port must leave. Oh, so I've learned. Don't think I'll stand for this. Well, success. Our foe hasn't even noticed what's been pilfered. Oh, wait for the new one. Will you It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. I just want to live as I please. Over here, if you please. Over here, Master. Did you lose sight of... I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it, if you like. Allow me to lead the way. I should like to put my knowledge to good use. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. I enjoy tackling fierce foe. It is difficult to forget all that occurred at the coronation. Grand adventure awaits us. I just know it. In relation to that, ours is a party of women, by and large. And I'll forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. No 
No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the word. It's a glad thing we rested when we did. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim goes to waste. I can't imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. Time spent camping isn't necessarily time wasted. Worthy of caution, not save our best will do. Well, I must. All together now, we attack as one. The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Understood. So chummy. Shove off. What do you want? Armor you got? Better on me, my I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen.
Open your eyes, everyone. Tis dark out, but our day begins. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Feeling rested, I trust? Over here, if you would. <laughs> Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right. If to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? Would that this moment might last, and it only thinks our travels will progress smoothly on this occasion. Where to next, Arisen? I'm not sure I have any idea. Pray let me go. Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand. My gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. Oh, I suppose it was too much to hope for. It is all over for me now. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not, he'll receive his due soon enough. Till then, he'll be made comfortable in the dungeons. Such peace. 
drained eternal. No dawdling. The Arisen calls. Very well. If I must. No fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Have you need of me? Is you. Pray, leave me alone. If he finds out I got caught, I'm done for. If he finds out I got caught, I'm done for. Good, you return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. This ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Greetings. You, you need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. Make... You've my gratitude. Tis lovely to see you. My fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, 
Thomas, so you've encountered the Phantom Ox Cart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the Lord does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawn's destination, perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid Your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap Your Majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to Your Majesty's discretion. You have my fullest confidence. Assuming the guise of a pawn seems the best way to discern the Phantom Oxcart's destination without arousing suspicion. Should Your Majesty remove all armaments and approach the Oxcart, you may be able to board it without issue. Is there aught else you would speak of? Your Majesty. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. I enjoy tackling fierce foes. To break the law is to be thrown in jail. Say, have I seen you around? I cannot help but feel that our meeting was ordained from the first. Methinks our travels will progress smoothly on this occasion. Welcome. Oh dear. I heard. Yes? Is there something I can do for you? Proper rest is an important duty in its own right. I can't tell you how I suffered at the hands of golems in that other world. What we get? We can expect a busy night. Shall we check our packs and be off? I hope you slept well. I'll lead the way. Fancy a look at my wares? Do come again. <laughs> you seem in fine spirits. Really now, you mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here.
is true peace, I wonder. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. we might as well gather what we can. They say thieves strike swift as the wind and sudden... you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the- Who are you? Come no closer! little enough gold to spend this week. Such quiet. We might uh, scratch another task off our list while we're here, if we are so inclined. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. we might as well gather what we can. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer co I 
shall come at once arisen. In another world, I learned that a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. more drink. Could do with a proper meal. What was that? Fine. Now I'm jumping at shadows. We're under attack! Don't just stand there! Protect the cart! Drive the fiends back! It seems we must part ways for the you're not a pawn? Fie! What do you want? I'm not taking you anywhere. Away with you. Waiting for you, Arisen. What's the hold up? Get in! Allow me to lead the way. I should like to put my knowledge to good use. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. How fair my fine passengers this evening. Don't know why I'm asking, you never answer. Do you? Suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are crippled. They say you'll do whatever the arisen says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to pause. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported in these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. 
Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Fatal. <laughs> Did that scare you, baby? No mind. It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed, what else? Someone's complaining. You have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you. Halt! We're expecting your cargo. Open up! I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. Sorry. How'd you I like that? Confound it. Where's my bilge rather tough? You going to fight back? Steal yourself, and we shall not fall here. But they do ha, seem to they know. just take head. What a ball! It is like <laughs> hitting a tree it. stump. I I got my this one's not a pawn. Give no quarter. One does grow weary of the constant. Yes. So. You seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on. Allow me to... What's the hold-up? Get in!
How fare my fine passengers this evening? Don't know why I'm asking. You never know what's happening. Suppose you'll just have to listen then. You fools are creeps. They say you'll do whatever the prison says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do with you, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return, though. That says a lot to me. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Vital. <laughs> Did that scare you, pay me no mind? It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it anyhow. Not like I care. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed what else. Do you know how long you'll be? I only ask so that... Hold! We're inspecting your cargo. Open up! I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. Sorry, my How'd you like that? Slipped. Built rather tough. Are you going to fight back? Show them what for! They may be undying, but ah, they do they seem just to take know. it. Steal yourself! You're made of tougher stuff! What a <laughs> ball! <laughs> that is like it. hitting a tree stump! I My swear I never... Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with! Worth more than your wages combined! Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No! Well, get a move on! We're off! On your knees, worthless vessels! Wait! You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst! To arms! Shame me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I properly equipped for this situation? Mayhap I ought to find a new weapon. What are you doing? We are in the midst of battle. The Arisen has been torched. Quick, douse the flames! Thank you, Arisen. is a place of import. We shall have occasion to return here. If there's nothing more we can do, ought we not to quit this place for now? At least you've got your health. I envy you that. And I shall remain by your side. That went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. Hard to make ends meet these days. Welcome back. Would you hear my request? Thank you kindly. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Open your eyes. Every I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer. I long to make things right after what transpired at the coronation. I cannot help but feel that our meeting was ordained from the first. If we keep searching, I'm sure we'll find something. You a 
understand how heavy the burden of duty can be. my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcart's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The staff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal. Yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded, and given such perilous tasks, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. Tis most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. At least here the Queen Regent shall face justice. You have succeeded where my own master failed. Mayhap towards somewhat overdone, but no matter. You have my fullest confidence. You have my gratitude, your majesty. Tis most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought be used. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to... wonderful? <laughs> Remember me, sir? I get along with this. Well met, sir. Fancy a gander? Fine. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own right. Our I must be ready, for my sake and everyone else's. This might be worth a read. I've heard there's a means to tell if someone who claims to be arisen is in fact the real thing. In the meantime, I shall endeavor to procure information that would be of benefit to our cause. Little did I expect to find you here. 
If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. When viewed from such a height, one realises just how mountainous this land truly is. Are there any settlements out that way? Recognize my worth arisen. I suppose I should consider myself honored to serve. Trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Before we do is rest. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Here we 
go again. I don't suppose begging for a reprieve would get as far with one of this lot. I am well aware of the particulars. understand how heavy the burden of duty can be. Materials are... I hadn't thought I could grow so fond of someone. I enjoy tackling fierce foes. The pawns in this party are women all. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go then. Feeling rested, I trust? Trouble yourself. doing <laughs> Forgive me. I could not help but laugh.
No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. It is a glad thing we rested when we did. Try not to get hit, lest all that boom goes away. If tis discipline your company lacks, I can prove. Where does the road call you? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace let us endeavor to keep up though we are less fleet of foot very well i shall lend you my aid you do seem to be in need of it Let me get that.
flawless execution. Indeed. It was enough to make one pity our foe. Would you care to stay and talk about it? Material. Useful things, these. I'm sure we'll find... Say, have I seen you around? We've naught to discuss. Can't say I have any tidings to share. Here to ask all of me, are you? Good day, sir. Thank you kindly. For you, as a token of my appreciation. May I treat myself to a tipple of Some time past, I encountered an elf in the forest across the river. He was tall and rather handsome, I must say. But there was a coldness to the way he looked at me. Almost pitying-like, I tell you. Whether we speak the same tongue or not, they shan't make any friends with that sort of demeanor. They're said to be an elven village someplace deep in the mountains. But I can't imagine they'd welcome visitors. Well met. Looking to me. Make a purchase. Much obliged, sir. Well met, sir. Can I interest you in a room, sir? We must rest, though the sun is still up. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. We've arrived well enough. Where to next?
Here to ask all of me, are you? I heard a rumor that this land. This ox cart will not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Ox carts bound. Welcome for an ally to appear for once. We fight to arms. No call here. Would the box carts were a bit safer and a bit swifter too. Drivers can be a decent source of gossip. <sighs> Battle is best avoided here.
That went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. This ox cart's bound for the... I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. I must stand firm! I'm unsure how best to proceed. I've got wares of every ilk! Hope to see you again ere long. Give me a moment. Let me alone, will ye? I only work when I fancy, but I get by. Let me alone, will ye? What's your problem? Save it, cuz. I'm not interested. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on through. I've no time for idle chatter. Go on through. Speak to me another time. I'm on duty. You There's no lack of brigands looking to make some easy coin out on the roads, but what's scary about these coral snakes is how damn organized they are. Talk is, they fall upon you all at once, and they're gone just as quick, along with all your goods and coin. 
We've had no luck catching them either, I'm ashamed to say. I thought only fools turned to banditry. But if they're capable of maneuvers like that, they must be a clever sort, eh? Why not live honestly if they've the brains for it? Suppose that's a foolish question. At any rate, if you've a mind to catch them and make a name for yourself, you ought to speak to Sir Lissandro. Many of our citizens view pawns as bringers of calamity, and hatred for their ilk is common here in Batbatar. Yet so boundless is Empress Nadinia's mercy, that even lowly pawns may benefit from it. Twas she who decreed that no pawn may be forced into unpaid servitude, or subjected to acts of violence. Oh, how magnanimous her heart! How generous her spirit! All pawns ought to bow before Her Majesty's peerless grace. Good day to you. Can't imagine living any other way now. Food? Have you any food? Many thanks. I'm still very hungry. So, if you've any more food to spare, spare some charity for the poor. Ah! You there! What do you think you're doing, huh? You keep your hands off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you're better off. Uh, calm down, Hugo. You've got it all wrong. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health and my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cuz. In my defence, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these parts. The name's Hugo, by the way. I'm a helper of sorts to the poor in Libya. Ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. Even just one more's a glad sight, let me tell you. So pay me no mind, and I'm sorry for before. If you're here to help, I'll not say another word against you. Many, many thanks, sir. Lucky I am to have the two of you looking out for me. I follow my whims. And to think of it, it is difficult to forget all that occurred at the coronation. I hope never to experience the like of that sensation again. Looking to lay your head? We've soft beds aplenty. Best buy what you need, lest you regret it later. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Feeling rested, I trust?
Many, many thanks, sir. Welcome, sir. Doubly so if you... We're here to buy. Many thanks, sir. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Shall we head there now? This ox cart's bound for back Batal. You've got to pay before we depart. Excuse me? Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Sir. How might I be of service? The world's changing. Not sure how much longer. Shall we get some rest then? I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Empress has clearly earned the love and respect of her subjects. 
Methinks it comes of their mutual devotion. Her Majesty offers up a prayer alongside her people every single day. Tis a far cry from Vermont. I cannot count the number of barbs I've heard uttered about the Queen Regent. How might I be of assistance? Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. You must ensure Her Majesty is not harmed during her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. We shall wait here till your business is done. What say you? Fancy a spot of colour? I've got nothing for ye. Or I can do for you. Empress Nadinia's life is in. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. We presume that Lord Phasus may be found in his laboratory, a facility conducting research into forbidden magics. If tis magical knowledge you seek, mayhap Lord Phasus could be of aid to you. I have been waiting for you, Arisen.
An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep- We must rest, though the sun is still up. If I were you, Master, I'd not leave this unread. Let's have a look, then. No fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Hmm. And who might? Sir Arisen. You've come just in time. Sir Ermhild. Tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen. Come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most Welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the rogue should you espy him. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Be not reckless in your decision, lest you apprehend the innocent. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life, should it come to that. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. Seize the rogue the moment you espy him. I shall pray for your success. What am I supposed to do about it? This looks as good a place as any. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. We ask that Batal may e'er prosper. And we ask that a day may come when Beastron, Human, Horn, and every other noble race that walks our world may live in harmony with one another. No more!
Seize the rogue the moment you espy him. I shall pray for your success. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. We ask that Batal may e'er prosper. And we ask that a day may come when Bistrum, human, pawn, and every other noble race that walks our world may live in harmony with one another. What do ye want? Sir Arisen, Her Majesty's supplications are nearing their end. Have you located the rogue? Who are ye supposed to be? Fie! Are they onto me? Ah, oh, shot it! Apprehend him at once! That man there is the assassin! Nicely done, Sir Arisen. Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. Oh, your majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know the depth of my gratitude. Ah, yes, of course. Batal is in your debt, Sir Arisen. The same is true of you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, however, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently, and return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, sir. What is to be done about this? I should be... Thank you, Sir Arisen. Truly. My sincerest gratitude for protecting the Empress. Your valor will not soon be forgotten. Nod off if I'm not careful. Grateful are we. Did you need something, dear?
I mustn't let this get out of hand. You are the Vermundian in Her Majesty's good graces, I Forgive my boldness, but there is what I would ask of you. A friend of mine has moved house, leaving a former abode unoccupied. To be blunt, I would have you purchase the deed. You see, I have reason to believe a group of individuals who bear the Empress ill will seek a hideout near the palace. Thus, to have a trusted individual purchase and occupy my friend's abode would greatly set my mind at ease. Besides, aught tells me such ne'er-do-wells would have a hard time settling in with you there. What say you? I cannot fault your hesitation, but I am prepared to make the arrangements at any time, should you decide to accept. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident. And may act. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Let us endeavor to keep up. Though we are. The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep the inn open. It's tough, but complaining won't do any good. We must rest, though the sun is still up. If I were you, Master, I'd not leave this unread. Shall we take a closer look? Very well. I shall return. <laughs> 